Before we hop into today's video, special shout out to the sponsor of this video, a longtime sponsor of this channel, Fat Boy Waffles. Have you guys ever wanted to get your hands on those cool overseas balls that we can't get here in the state, but you didn't have the cash to buy one of those balls from overseas? Or did you wanna be one of the first to get your hands on one of those brand new domestic releases before anybody else? Well, look no further, my guys at Fat Boy Waffles have got you covered. Eric does a phenomenal job in the Facebook group. They have raffles daily, weekly, you name it. They're going all the time. We've had several winners come from this channel over in that Facebook group. So I'm guessing the luck is on our side. So you wanna go check them out and maybe it's not even bowling balls. It could be just something random that he wants to raffle off that a lot of people are interested in. The link is in the description. Tell them Nate sent you and now back to the video. Ball's over here trying to set up the camera for y'all and Nate was warming up. I started striking a little bit. This is the pre-warm up to the video you guys are about to watch right yeah. now. So you guys are gonna see a little sneak peek before we get into it. And now we get into the real part of the video. Here's dad. We brought him out of the house in his new ride. Not gonna be in it for long, right though? We're gonna get a new ride here soon. <laughs> We're gonna get those legs back working. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna tell them why we're refilming this first. Well, yes, but they didn't need to know that. No, they do. That's the fun part of our channel yeah. is we tell the, our uh, disfortunes. Please. Wait, hold on. I said disfortunes. I'm sorry, misfortunes. <laughs> I said disfortunes. Okay, that's it. Now Nate can talk. Out of oopsies, and Elise says that I didn't plug in one of the cords that goes into the camera to have audio. So when I was about to edit this video, there was no audio. So I saw myself talking and not saying anything for 20 minutes <laughs> on the last one. So we're gonna do it all over again. But uh, we got a brand new ball today, brand new to me, the Virtual Gravity Pro X2. Shout out to Fatboy Waffles, as always, for being absolutely clutch and an amazing sponsor of this channel. If you guys didn't pay attention to the intro, you need to go back, watch the intro. Let's go to their Facebook page in the description, check them out. They have daily raffles, prizes, all that good stuff. Very affordable, you need to go check them out. We're here at beautiful Orange Bowl Lanes in Lakeland. As always, shout out to them. They always do a really good job taking care of us. We're gonna be bowling a game with this one, tell you a little bit about it, and we will be comparing it to Old Reliable Virtual Energy Blackout. Tape's important, don't squeeze it. So we're working on a little something today on the soft hand. We're standing 23, looking at 15. Not a bad start. Also gets it on the second time. All right, let's see what happens when we get a little closer to it. All right, so the last one was good. Let's do it again. Maybe we're gonna have to snatch on it. <laughs> so many of you are probably asking, well, what's the difference between the two? Well, the difference between the two, very similar core shape, same core as you see in all the virtual gravities, but cover stock plays a big difference. Both pearl, this one's NRG pearl, and this one is one of my favorites, REX. So that's why it's still in my bag. NRG is an earlier, smoother cover stock. So what you're gonna see today is this ball being a little bit earlier, but a little bit smoother down lane. When we get into the Virtual Energy Blackout, it's gonna be a little bit cleaner and a little more snap on the back. So that one right there, I gave it a little more of the business. A little more grip pressure, got into a roll a little bit faster, drove through the pins very nicely. I also moved the two and one left. So we're gonna throw one more and then we're gonna get into the blackout. All right, so now we go to the blackout. Now we're gonna stand in the same exact spot just to see the difference in reaction. We're gonna do the same thing. Let's 
kind of what I expected. Even though I did throw it a little bit harder and it didn't come off my hand that great. You saw the length. The length was way longer on that ball versus the X2. So I don't shoot this fair often. We're gonna hope we make it. I'm really good. <laughs> I don't leave these often, but like when I do, I feel like I leave them yeah, in so the weirdest times that I have to make it. We're gonna try to just shoot a four pin. I'm gonna have to teach you how to make that. Yeah. That actually reminds me, tell, you gotta tell them the, the next video coming out, the next tips and tricks is yep. gonna teach them. It's coming, coming very soon, so you guys need to stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. What is it? It's, uh, police is gonna be putting on a spare shooting clinic for you guys. Two and one back to the right, and I think we'll hit the pocket. There we go. I see the blackout being a little more speed sensitive on the house shot because it's so clean. So I'd really have to watch my speed, whereas X2, I could probably stay a little more aggressive, but we're all good. So we will just dial the speed down and see if we can get this go a little more flush. So now we'll just go back to back. Throw one here. Going back to back. With the X2 and throw <laughs> another one with the blackout. I really like the speed of the last one, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Stand 25, look 16. As you can see, it's a lot more forward off the end of the pattern. It's really digging in in the front part of the lane and the middle part of the lane, which is causing that smoother reaction down lane. So now we'll go to the blackout. And you're just gonna see a little cleaner reaction, a little more whippy down lane. And just for all you numbers guys out there, the layouts on these balls are both the same. 60 by four and three quarters by 35. So I'm two and one right with the blackout, softer speed. Should have struck, but whatever. I can see myself using the X2, obviously on house shots, because I really can't throw them anywhere else. Maybe some local competition, but I don't see it fitting one of those spots. I see myself using this on house shots that really have a puddle in the middle, a lot of volume in the middle part of the lane, and kind of blend it out to the right, where I can't throw as big of a ball as like, you know, gems, realities, stuff like that, that have like a lot of grit to them. but. Not as big as like some of our ASIM pearls, like the Exotic Gem, Eternity, stuff like that. This will give me a weaker option with plenty of back end. That was a really good one. I like that one a lot, but as you can see, the change of direction is more with the virtual energy blackout than it is with the virtual gravity X2. It's not as early, saves more energy, so when it sees the friction, it comes off it really, really hard. All right, so that's the one game ball review for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out Fat Boy Waffles in the description. Check out their Facebook page. They do amazing stuff. My guy Eric will take care of you guys. We've had subscribers on this channel win in that ball raffle group. So I don't know if it's the luck of this channel. We got the luck on our side. So make sure you guys check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you again to Orange Bowl Lane for always taking care of us. If you like this kind of content, make sure to let us know in the comment section and subscribe and like while you're at it. We'll see you on the next one.